What up, guys? We're going to be reacting to um, Billy Eilish's new album, Hit Me Hard and Soft. We're going to be reacting to and listening to her songs track by track. Um, and, yeah. I When I came to do this review, I, I just realized the funny thing. I've, I have a Slaughter to Prevail shirt on, which is probably the most opposite type of music than this is gonna be um yeah uh but yeah i i listen to heavy music I li but i also listen to a, a bunch of other stuff too but my favorite type of music is metal rock type of stuff so this is doesn't really fall into that category but i've actually been a fan of billy eilish for quite a while now ever since i think since the album when we all fall asleep where do we go um yeah it, around that time frame is when i started getting into her so it's been in quite a while at this point um so yeah we're gonna be reacting to it track by track i'm not gonna have the entire song playing throughout the thing otherwise i'm gonna get blocked so we're just gonna go for it all right, let's go. Let's start it off. Skinny, here we go. Fell in love for the first time With a friend, it's a good sign I like how mellow it is right now. I don't know if it's taken out, but... took a lifetime People say I look just because I kind of getting vibes of the songs um, TV and the 30th. More like kind of the instrumental bit. But yeah, like, as far as I know, this is just produced and um, composed by Billy and Phineas, which still to this day surprised me. Phineas is such a good composer, and God, like, everything about F Phineas is just. The backbone of this music, dude. Like, and obviously Billie Eilish, no shit. But the music ability of Phineas is fucking amazing, and his way of mixing and everything is just spot on. The fact that just those two, at least credited those two, it it, it will always be amazing to me. I like this. Some of my favorite songs from her are are the kind of very metal type of songs. Okay. The fact that it's like I said, the fact this is done by just Billy and Phineas is amazing. Billy and Phineas is amazing. That song, honestly, I'm not gonna be giving each song a review score. I'm just gonna make a score for the whole album in general. I did it for the Green Day one, if anyone saw that. Um, you you know that I made a score for each individual song. But that's because I've been a fan of Green Day for God since middle school. And I know what comes I know what to expect out of a Green Day song. So uh so I was able to easily make a review uh easily make a score on each song because I know what Green Day can and can't do and what they do well and what they don't. Billie Eilish, she's more like... She's more on the... Like, she kind of has an experimental tone, an experimental type of thing to her. It's really hard for me to rank, rank each song for someone like her, especially since I don't listen to her as much as a lot of other people I do so it's kind of I feel like I'd be given a false number if I did if I would much more on the Billy Eilish train if I would listen to her stuff a lot and I knew exactly what come from her and what I was expecting 
and if I had an expectation for this album and knew what would and what wouldn't exactly, I would be able to score each song, but I'm just going to score the album at the end. But this song, I'm going to say, very mellow, very, very peaceful. I can't, I really like the little nuances in the sound, the like production quality, fantastic. Finney's, like I said, I'll say it again, amazing, amazing. Like, the, the the combo for Amphidious, damn, dude. Like, it sounds like you're you're getting a bunch of people who've been doing it for decades that know how to make and compose music. And goddamn it, it's just a brother and sister doing this shit. So, yeah, it's it pretty impressive. Not much too much to say about that one. I liked it. It, it feels like a song I could just, like, lay down. Probably, um smoke some weed too, lay down and just relax too and listen to it. It would feel like that perfect kind of song. But... Alright, next song, Lunch. I could eat that girl for lunch Yeah, she dances on my tongue Tastes like she might be the one <sighs> Alright, Billy! Okay then! <laughs> Wow, um, all right. Okay then, uh, very in your face. <laughs> we could probably go two meetings for that, but yeah, it's just, what that go right to the point. Look, I know she had the Rolling Zone interview and like she said, <laughs> she said, I've always wanted, well, I've realized that now I've always wanted my face in a vagina or something along those lines. And I'm like, me too, Billy. Me too. <laughs> but I, I didn't think there'd be a song that I could. Now, now, now that I know the title Lunch, I, I really think I already know what the fuck this That Of course it's called Lunch. Of course. <laughs> Alright. Let's read. Let's start at the beginning. Okay. Whoa! This is banging. This is banging. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm getting like vibes of like um. Therefore, I am. It's like had that like kind of similar beat there's a lot of faster pacing obviously but I mean I'm get I'm, I'm banging around like I would be for that song but yes I, I, that instrumental holy crap dude like damn relate to this video so much <laughs> yes yes as a straight man I can relate to this even though she is uh, a woman and uh, likes women but we all talk in the same shit <laughs> she knows what it's all about <laughs> but but lyrics aside lyrics aside this song is fucking banging already we're a minute and four seconds in um, yeah, this song banging. Let me rewind in a couple seconds. That bass. That's why I love Phineas. The bass. He, he has such a infectious bass riff. It, like, he knows how to fucking groove, dude. Yeah, that I just want to get I just want to get her off. <laughs> just straight up like God. Ooh, okay. Hold up. Okay. It's it, this is weird because hey, look, I like I said, I've been listening to Billy since the fucking at least like I think after we 
first guy to do like bad guy like bad guy when all like um yeah when we all go when we all go to sleep where do we go that album like I've, I've been a fan of her since that I think the first song after we heard from her was I think the first song after we heard was bury a friend from her and yeah I kind of got hooked on to that that was so unique so different um so it's kind of weird to me <laughs> That I've been a fan since she'd been a kid, and now we've come full fucking circle. You know, straight up, this is just a song about eating pussy. It, 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 it this is the song about. <laughs> what is like? What else is there to say? It's it, it's so fucking groovy, man. Like it's it's infectious. The fucking bass, I can't. <laughs> I just like, wow. Okay. What? This is new? I'm not expecting this, but I love it. This instrumental though. Like obviously the vocals are, the vocals are carrying it obviously, but the, the instrumental in this song is fucking highlight here. Because it it, it it obviously carrying Billy vocals, um, making it groove and everything. But god damn, I love this instrumental here. This is this is gonna be tough to beat. I'm sorry, but I know I know. Like we're we're talking about a song about eating pussy. Forget the fucking meaning of the song here. The song is fucking good. <laughs> That's a groove to it, man. Uh, breathing and ri rhythm. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. What do I think about this song? I I've kind of said it already. Banger. This is a fucking banger. Um, it's a song about eating pussy. Yes. We know it could be in a different language, and I don't know what's being said, but I'd still enjoy the fuck out of it. Like the whole groove to this song is fucking infectious. This is probably the earworm of the album. <laughs> this is this is gonna be an earworm type song. I don't. <laughs> this is perfect strip club music too. Like this is gonna. I'm gonna hear this in places. This song has everything it needs to be a massive hit. It's not family friendly, but it's got to be said in a way where it kind of could be. Like, there's no straight up saying, I like to eat pussy. There's no, like, vulgar language in this, from what I could tell. It's just, you know what the fuck she's talking about. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, oh, imagine, imagine being Phineas. Like, that's her brother. Casually, you're making a song, and your sister is singing about licking some girl parts, and uh, yeah, and that's imagine, imagine Finney. I, I wonder what Phineas was thinking of during this. Like, this this grooves, but this feels really wrong at the same time. <laughs> like, I don't think I need to hear my sister singing about eating pussy. <laughs> Good lord, dude. But hey, I don't know, man. Like, the, 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 I know it's only his second song, but so far, definitely my favorite one. Okay, and, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm looking at the title of the next one, Emily. Like, okay. But yeah, uh... Cheerio? Look, uh, look, I'm, I'm seeing the name of some of these songs already, and, uh... Okay, there's only one other one that I'm going to have a hard time fucking um, pronouncing. I'm not a Cheerio or Chai Hero. English is a stupid language. If that's even what this is in. I don't know. Cheerio, I don't fucking know. We, it, 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 it's going to be up top or down bottom, wherever the put, put the title. But yeah, we'll get to it. Five minutes, so fuck. Okay. 
like the bass that's in the background. This slapping thing. <laughs> That bass is hitting hard in the back. I like it. Ooh. Ooh, that voice. That fucking voice, man. She got really good in her vocal. I mean, she's really bang good, but. That's some nice highs right there. Falsetto. Oh, I'm liking the instrumental building right now. Woo! Okay. I love how her voice is like faintly in the background. The instrumental's taking over. That's when you found me. One thing I've captured from this is like the album art and her sinking underwater. I'm about to be getting that vibe. Like, like I'm actually, it actually sounds like parts of this album are actually being said underwater or done underwater. And like the song really is bringing that out there. Like I'm, I'm seeing the album art and then the lyrics and like it actually, like she's in the water, you know, in the position she's in. With the air bubble coming out of her mouth. And it actually sounds like right now that she is actually singing from the water. It's like she's slowly falling down. It's like slowly sinking in. I love that effect right now. Like it's really like this album art is really, really good on. Like it's been really good on like expressing how this sounds at times like i don't know if they're gonna keep this up throughout the album but especially this song it's really a good representation of like the whole album art itself like i'm liking it a lot yeah like sound like she's sinking almost i really like that That was Cheerio or Cheerio, Cheerio. I'm not gonna say Cheerio, I don't fucking know. Maybe my fat ass mind is a thinking food. I don't know. Um, but yeah, uh, that was, um, yeah, I'm not gonna say anymore. Here we go, Birds of a Feather, let's go. She's like improving her vocals more and more, which probably to given. Like she get you get better and better the more you practice. So I feel like I can hear that. Like as as the years of her putting out music go on, she seems to get better and better vocally, more and more control, 
more things you can do and it more creative. I I'm liking it. Okay. More of that like echoey type sound like like again I'm getting the visual of her on the water it just it just connects with my brain more. I really like how they have the album art wall during the lyrics here. I don't know. I mean, the song was good. It had a good flow to it. I'm not, I don't know, like the instrumental was nice. It carried it. Not my favorite one on the album so far, but it, 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 it went by smoothly. Like, it was a good song. It's just nothing, there's nothing other than like some good vocal bits here. Nothing too um, noteworthy of that song, but yeah. That was that. Next song is um, Wildflower. Like acoustic. She was a girl. You showed her the world. You fell out of love and you both left. underwater type feel. I like it. Alright. That had some good high points to it. I really like the how it kept the same energy bit, but also um, fluctuated in um, noise level while keeping a similar energy vibe. Like, yeah, there was, like there was parts that were very mellow, and then you have it pick up, but at the same time, it still has that like relaxing flow to it. Still not my favorite on the album, but. It, it was a solid song for sure. Another good song. The song's called The Greatest. So let's get into it. I'm trying my best to keep I like the music, muted acoustic time. notes here. And you Dun, 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 dun. 
It's very subtle, but wow, well, the core notes are still dominating. I like it. Was the greatest that was um I like how they had a suspense in like the first half and then they finally pulled the trigger into that like powerful chorus right there um as you can see by my reaction that was a fucking amazing like drop right there I loved it it gave me kind of a vibe of like um, happier than ever. Obviously, not as hard, not as um, not as much of a punch, but it, it gave you that same kind of like hit. You know, that was great. Next song is yeah. I, I'm not gonna even I'm not gonna even attempt to announce that one. Uh, all right, uh, yeah, Tyler will be in the video. Um, I'm not gonna even dare pronounce it, but it's the longest song so far. Alright. rest of your life Felt sorry for you When I looked in your eyes I told you a lie I said you That's cold. It isn't asking for a lot for an apology For making me feel like it killed you if I tried to leave You said you'd never fall in love again because of me Then you moved on But I wish you That's the interesting vocal effect. Where are we going? Where are we going? Oh, this could not sound like a 
Billy Eilish song anymore. But I still dig with it. That heavy autotune filter or whatever it is. But I kind of dig it. Alright, so that song, um, I don't even want to know how to pronounce it. Um, <laughs> that went in a completely different direction than I thought it would go. I'm not going to lie. Uh, <laughs> it's so different, so odd, but I like... Not in a million years would I have thought that Billie Eilish would be doing some kind of like dubstep techno type fucking heavily filtered vocals. This is, it sounded like like the music in that little, little game on your phones or computer, the impossible game, or something that I'd hear in Rocket League. <laughs> it, it, it was good. But, like, that was so out of left field, and I kind of, I, I honestly kind of love it. Um, yeah. Um, <laughs> other than that, like, uh, probably one of my favorites, to be honest. I don't know, I, I'll see, I'll have to listen to it a few more times, but that was definitely out of left field, and I kind of really dug that, to be honest, so... Yeah. That was... That was something. But next song is called The Diners. So let's get on to that. Got two more after this. There's a phone number she's saying. I'm, I kinda, I kinda wanna tie it. Uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe not. But yeah, um, that was the diner. Um, it had a good flow to it. I mean, I kinda, I kinda was sorta zoning out a little bit. That's probably why there wasn't, um, much in the, in the video, like, this was relatively quick. Cause I, basically throughout the whole song, I was just like, I was just vibing with it. So yeah, that's why there's not really much footage of this reaction to the song. Cause I was just vibing. It was a good vibe song. Nothing out of the ordinary. Nothing, nothing, um, nothing surprising. Just a good solid track. So, with that number that is in this song, I actually dialed it um, in between recordings. Well, after that, the diner recording. And uh, <laughs> I, 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 I would be lying if I didn't panic for a minute. Because <laughs> you dialed that number that's in that song. I shit you not, it's like one of the most real fucking, um, things ever. I swear to God, I just fucking actually called Billy. I, I, part of my head was like, no, but it, it just goes instantly, and it's just Billy just saying. Hello? Hello? Wait, I can't hear you. Hello? Hello? Hold on, let me call you back. I, I said something just random to it. 
and yeah, it just kept going. So it's automated. So if you want to call it, it's cool. Don't worry, it's not Billy answering your fucking call. For a minute, by I, I swear, I swear, I was just like, there's no fucking way. But, yeah, oh my god, oh man. But, um, yeah, let's go, and we got two songs left. Bittersweet? That's a, that is actually, that's actually quite a cool way to spell it. Bittersweet. <laughs> I'm not gonna even question the chains up it the chains I'm not gonna even question the change ups in this album anymore. I'm just going with it. I'm just going with it. At this rate it might just turn into a fucking metal song and I wouldn't be surprised anymore. building up to now. song but I want to say that song another one I can't it went by smoothly I kind of like the like um false builds they kind of had or like that and they kind of like I like the build up they had it actually didn't go too hard um but I like that especially that ending guitar bit that was really cool um and nice groovy song. I just got lost in the flow for it. Um, didn't really say much. Just, uh, again, another good one. Nothing really bad to say about it. Nothing really good to say. Well, <laughs> nothing really bad to say about it. Just, but nothing like jaw-dropping or anything. Um, especially after hearing this album. Like, I remember like... It has a good pacing to it, but I feel like everything about this song that I've, that there to talk about, I've already talked about in other songs on the album, so, yeah, I don't want to repeat myself every song on, like, what I like about this and this, unless something really stands out, but, yeah, um, we are going into the final track on the album called Blue. <laughs> Five minutes and forty three seconds, Jesus. <laughs> Oh, 
Again, good song. Uh, uh, I feel like, um, yeah, it, it kind of, I just, it just flowed, man. It just, it really, um, really flowed again. Um, another solid song. That was the last song. I kind of like the, um, how we went full circle with it being a mellow start, and then we kind of got heavy, and then we rounded back up to a mellow, nice violin type of ending. I really like that. But let's see what I think in the actual review. All right, guys, that was um, Billie Eilish's um, "Hit Me Hard and Soft" album, and let me tell you, that is a very appropriate name for this album because. It hit me hard and soft. It hits you hard and soft. There are some parts where it goes hard and some parts where it's nice and mellow and soft and goddamn. Um, let's start out uh, with my favorite song on the album. I'm going to still say lunch. That. <laughs> oh, God. Um, yeah, I just felt like that had the, had the most... Um, the most... I, I feel like that's going to have... Like in a year, I feel like that can be in the top more, most listened to song from the album. It's just so catchy, so bouncy. Like, it is just, yes, we know. I've said it back in the review. It's a song about eating out a girl, but, like, it's not the lyric. It's not the lyric. It's just you can made any lyrics with this, and it, I would still thought the same thing. Um,. Really good song. I liked them um, in the uh, what was the greatest that that song had that um oh that uh, awesome ending. I thought I thought it had a really solid ending. And same with whatever the song was after, and then the song afterwards that I can't announce pronounce the name of. That was that was something. Um. It like we went nightcore for a minute. Like we, like I said, it sounds like the audio of the Impossible Game. <laughs> it's just like I would not expect that. But overall, like the album, like I really liked it. Would I say it? I, I'm thinking of a score right now, but um, there were some higher parts I liked, and some parts that were kind of. A little repetitive, not badly though. Um, sometimes I'm just like, okay, let's. I I would say I wasn't thinking of let this end of the saying. 
Okay, I, I, I see what they're doing here. There's nothing really too spectacular going on in some of these songs. But there are, it has the highlights and like, I, I can't complain. It's a good album. It's, it's a good album. But like, what would I rate it? Uh, hold on. But before I give a rating, I also want to say, I love the parts that kind of like just what when you heard it it wasn't really a song it just felt like we were listening to some nice chill instrumentals and like with Billy vocals in the background just making like la la like like the fucking like just her barely hearable in the background I really like that touch and it, it just lets the instrumental just flow and everything had like an underwater feel like with the cover art. Like there were parts that really felt like I was hearing this through water and I really, really thought that was cool. Um, but again, my God, the production, the compose, uh, just everything about the whole mixing and everything. It's just fantastic. Phineas is phenomenal and it, it really shows on this album. Like, holy crap. Um, like if you told me that this was just done by two people. As far as I'm concerned, that's what it was. Like, god damn, I'd be like, you're shitting me, right? Like, this sounded like it was done by a team of people that have been doing this for decades. But, yeah. It was really good production. Um, what else can I say? Well, I'll give it a score. I'm gonna probably give it a I'll give it an... Ah, fuck. Um, I'll give it a 7.8 out of 10 altogether. There were some highlights. Would I come back to this album? Um, yeah, I'll probably... I don't know if I'll come back to the entire album. But there are definitely going to be songs I'll be coming back to. But I wouldn't say the entire thing. It's a damn near good album. But yeah, overall, solid Billy Ellis album. It lived up to the hype. I mean, I wasn't expecting anything less than I got. So, the fact that it met my expectations and after it exceeded it in some parts, it's a really good thing. So, yeah, I'm going to give it probably, yeah, 7.8 out of 10 for it. Maybe after, you know, I'll probably, I'll, you know what, there was some highlight. I'll give it an 8 out of 10. I think give it a solid 8. Good album. And like yeah, if you're a Billy Eilish fan, you're gonna I I you're gonna love this album. It was interesting choices, especially in that one song when it sounded like with Rocket League or fucking Night Nightcore or whatever the fuck it is. Um but I still liked it. <laughs> but yeah, um eight out of ten, good album. What was worth the wait in my opinion, so yeah. Um Tell me what you think of the album. If you agree with me, if you disagree with me, what's your favorite song? What's your favorite part of the album? Do you hate the album? Do you completely disagree with me on everything? Um, yeah, let me know below if you like Billy Ellis, lover, hater, whatever. But yeah, pretty solid album from Billy Ellis.